Okay, hello there. I'd like to give a reflection today about essentially self-healing, about self-development work. You might be watching this and this might be at the beginning of your journey. You might be thinking, ooh, um, what is out there? What is this about? Will it change how I feel? Will it change how I am? You might be watching this and you've been doing it a few years and maybe you're feeling a little disillusioned thinking, oh, I thought I would have got something, got it a little quicker or I would have understood this a little better. Or you might have been doing this for a long, long time and you've gained great insight and you've let go of many of the teachings and they're just there now they're just part of your life so I guess I'm speaking to everybody coming from my own perspective people contact me and ask me to put videos up more often and there are times when I'm quite busy over the last few months um, I've been doing quite a lot of volunteering. I work as a scout leader uh, in my local town and we went for a trip off to uh, Croatia which is in Eastern Europe for a um, period of 10 days and then after that uh, with the scouts I went spent a week up in um, Scotland doing Duke of Edinburgh as I'm a Duke of Edinburgh leader and yeah, sometimes I also go through my stuff. My baggage comes up. And why I'm giving this reflection is that sometimes when we start on the path of self-development, we can almost have a certain arrogance. And I know I certainly did. You read one book and you think, I think that I, you know, I thought that I had it. So, oh, I understand this meditation, I understand it. And what I want to say to people who are starting on this journey, who are halfway through this journey, who have been on it a long time, is that self-development is a life path. And please understand that when I record these videos, I'm as much talking to myself, connecting with a wise part within me, to talk to the part of me which doesn't always understand. I do go through a lot of stuff. Um, I have baggage and I this is partly why I record these films is because I am always searching for new ways of dealing with, with the stuff that comes up in my life so It's quite an important thing to, to realize when we're starting on the journey is that we will always be a student in self-development. The teacher Ajahn Chah, and I bring this example up a lot, he talks about um, Western monks that he who used to come and live with him in Thailand in Wat Pa Pong. And he used to say Western monks are a bit like their internal household is a bit like a, a big mansion. Um, once they clean one room out and they work through their baggage on one level, they then have another room to clear out. And I feel that with self-development work, we can, when we begin, we can start on the work and we can clear one room out. And it's amazing, it's like, wow, Ooh, we get really excited. And it's really good to have that excitement. And yet it's also important to realize that we will always have rooms that we keep coming across. So it's like patient perseverance. That was one of the key teachings I had when I lived in, in one of Ajahn Chah's monasteries. Is just keeping on going. You just keep going and you keep going and you just keep being patient 
and you keep keep on keeping on. And what that means is that we have this continual uh, in Buddhism in the eight fold path they talk about right effort so it's not that we're whoa, 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 all the time or we just give up we just we keep plodding on you know and I like to talk about this and I give this reflection about um, baby steps we just keep taking baby steps we might fall over and I fall over quite often <laughs> I make mistakes and I keep picking myself up keep using the tools and I think if I didn't have my stuff then I wouldn't be able to use the tools I wouldn't be able to practice using them to see if they work for me and what works for me obviously would be totally different for you so so that's the first aspect the first aspect is that self healing, self development is the life path that we're always going to be practicing and that's a wonderful thing on one level we're always going to be growing and, and developing so we're always going to be the student but the other important aspect that I do talk about is that we are always going to be the teacher our experiences, our life experiences, the path will be completely unique and just as people resonate with my own life experiences of um, you know my own life experiences with I grew up with an alcoholic father and then went to boarding school and I worked in the city in banking and sales and then I, I had a breakdown and I lived in a, I went to Africa for a bit and I lived in a Buddhist monastery uh, and that will resonate with certain people because my experience is totally unique so what I'm getting at is that you, I, we will always be teachers as well. We will always have something to teach. Through my own personal experience of life, I can teach you. Through your own personal experience of life, you can teach others. In this moment, you are a teacher. I think what I see in the New Age world, the self-development world, is people become teachers and they forget that they're always also a student as well. They bec can become arrogant. They can lose the connection with their heart. And it's really important to see that balance. That growth, self-growth, is an ongoing uh, path. And yet, in that moment, you will always be a teacher. You will have some shining to share. Because essentially within us, nothing is ever missing. Nothing is ever missing. We have it all here now. You know, when we go to, f go to sleep, we connect with that source, that divinity within us, that amazingness, that divine self. And when we wake up, our, our baggage comes back. So you have everything that you need in this moment so you are a teacher you always were a teacher from a young age you were a teacher and I will just say a few words about what I feel a teacher is a teacher almost shows by example by the words they use by how they are with other people how they respond rather than react. A teacher is not necessarily someone who stands on a soapbox and tells you what to do. A teacher is an example. And we're all at different levels. We're all at and that's perfect for those students who are out there who want to learn. They'll see you and think, wow, I can really learn something from them. I can really learn something from that amazing being over there. Because you're you. 
And the more we do the practice, the more we do the meditation, the self-development, the more we connect with that true essence of who we really are. And that is shining, that is life, that is laughter, that is joy. And then we fall off, we lose our way, and then we remember. And there's a teaching by Ajahn Tate, who was a contemporary of Ajahn Chah in Thai forest tradition, and my teacher lived with him for a while. And he spoke about, I believe, I don't always remember things, he talked about this, um, the essence of being awake is that the time between when we're asleep and when we're awake becomes less and less and less. So, for example, I'm very conscious, I'm here and now in this moment, and then I go off for a day or two or a week or a year, and then I remember, oh, to come be present. And what Ajahn Tate says is the more you practice, the less those time gaps become until you're awake all the time and you're here in this moment. And for me that's part of practice, trying to be aware, be wakeful, be present with what is, loving what is, as Ajahn Sumedho says. Hmm. So, that is my reflection for today. I hope um, it is of help and of service. That self-healing, self-development, it's an ongoing journey. You are a student. You will always be a student. And you will always be a teacher. <laughs> Blessings on you. Please keep shining your light. You're so amazing. You're such a beautiful, shiny soul. Keep shining. Keep going.